Okay, this video is going to talk about the View TV AT-163. You get a you get to use a thumb drive or a external hard drive to record your shows. It has HDMI out and composite out, so you can uh, have a tape recording the content or just out to TV. I'm also going to attach another video that, show, that shows the antenna I'm using. It's a WineGuard Metro. It looks like a flying saucer, but it's a 360, 360 degree uh, antenna. The antennas I used before, you would need to angle it to get certain stations. That's that's crazy. So I use the uh, DirecTV. Uh, tower or the connections there and just put the metro right on top of it it has the brackets and stuff to just place right on top really easy to install uh, I tried other antennas I tried uh, a Philips thing to hang out in an outdoor internal or outdoor and it was complete junk uh, I got a little five dollar antenna and that worked better than the Philips but the it has like little antennas it's it's like a little portable antenna those work actually pretty good I've had a lot of success with that five dollar antenna even sticking it outside works but I do recommend the 360 uh, antenna the I also did uh, check out the GE it's kinda looks like the old set top box uh, antenna and that worked okay except it was too close to the gr or it was inside and I couldn't really pick up very many signals with that or I had to turn it to get certain stations uh, so I opted for the wine guard uh, metro I've tried uh, stuff from Walmart and the converter boxes just they're flimsy they 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 don't really have the advanced features that the ATV does. You know, you can uh, electronic program guide uh, can do for the whole day. That's what View TV can do. Uh, other other boxes don't do that. So I'm going to start the video with uh, the complete review of the View TV. Uh, next. Okay, what we're going to talk about here is the View TV. AT-163. Now, uh, the unit has a USB. It has volume, OK, a power button, and I think the M is a mute on the unit. And here's the the uh, remote. It, as you can see, it's hooked up to a Toshiba 50 or 500 gig 3, USB 3.0 external hard drive. You can also use a little thumb drive if you want, and I've used both, and I'll get into that later. Uh, let me go into the, there's a menu, electronic program, guide, info, recall, exit, and USB buttons up at the top, power, uh, controls, number pad, and favorites. So let's go through probably what you want to know, uh, the special features. Let's go into the menu. Okay, here's the menu. You've got the uh, program, and then next you have picture up at the top, the little icons. The I'm going to call them my uh, tab menu at the top. Okay, picture. You have picture, uh, channel search, time. You set the time. The option you know, your uh, language, that sort of thing, system, and USB. Uh, let me go into the USB, since I talked about, since I've got the hard drive right here. Uh, basically, you hit the OK button, and then it'll uh, go down and highlight multimedia. Let's go into the multimedia real quick because it also accesses the USB. You do the right click or the right arrow. You have music, photo, movie, and PVR. That's all 
to do with your thumb drive or your external hard drive. This is what it looks in and uh, tries to find. So here we go into the PVR. This records your TV shows. You hit the OK button in the center. You navigate your hard drive or your thumb drive and go to HB PVR. It says it's loading and I recorded two shows. Well, one show and then one 12 second or 20 some second one. Let's just hit the OK to select. It says initializing. And then there uh, on the end, it or on the right side, it has the details, the size, file size is only 7 meg. That's pretty big for 23 seconds. And it's just a public uh, television. So I'm going to stop it. The controls are right here. The stop, play, pause, uh, fast forward, that sort of thing. So here, here's where you would... Uh, okay, I, it started the next one. So I'm just going to hit stop again. Because that's a full hour and it's pretty good quality. Okay. I'm trying to, okay. Recall up a folder. Okay, I have to look at the menu at the top and it was okay or select. So I want to recall to go up a folder to get out of this. So I'm just going to hit exit and get out of all this. But that's where you play your movies. That's where you have access whenever you plug in the thumbnail or the or thumb drive or the external hard drive. That's where you access your, your um, movies, music, or whatever, pictures. Let's go into the menu again. Okay. Menu key is right there. Electronic program guide, you just sort it. I just have the LCN that best sorts the. And let me show you what I'm talking about here. Let's hit the program, electronic program guide. That's this button right here. Okay, it shows the channel, the date, time. It shows all the shows coming up. And then on the left and on the right, it shows the description. So let's go. We can navigate from here to all the different TV shows. So I'm just going to hit the left navigation. So that goes down. Okay, it shows all here what's on, uh, what's on uh, the tube on this channel. And it goes for the whole day. So the... So you can plan your whole uh, watch list. Even you can, if you find a program you want, like uh, I've got Mad Money here, all you'd have to do is just scroll down to that. And on the corner, uh, bottom left-hand corner, it says OK for book and info for book list. And that's to, I'll, I'll go ahead and hit OK. And that just takes you to the schedule. They call it book, but it's a schedule. It shows you your TV, the channel number, the date, the time. You can have it to record or just to view. And when you hit just to view, it'll just, the unit will come on and it will go to that channel and view. If it was record, it would just start recording. Uh, then once you hit confirm, it will be in the schedule to uh, to come on and record or view whatever you chose. Very nice. So I'm going to get out of that. I'm not going to record. Um, actually, let's let's go ahead and hit confirm just to show you what it looks like. Uh, you can have you can have it repeat record if you want to regularly record the program at night, uh, as far as Mad Money goes. So I'm going to hit exit. That looks good. So when the, as you can see, I'm on the EPG, and you'll see right by Mad Money, there's a little dot. 
that's for record or view very nice it shows you what's gonna come on or record okay let me go into uh, the info right net right down under the EPG is a button called info if you just hit it once it'll just show you a quick what's on and what's coming up hit it twice it will show you what's on what's coming up and the description the frequency bandwidth and most importantly the quality uh, it's at 88 percent right now uh, you can hit inf info to exit or I think you can just hit exit again let me hit exit yeah you can get out of that so very nice if you're having trouble you can see the info and the quality you know, the signal coming in to see if uh, uh, there's something wrong with uh, your signal so I've told you how to uh, schedule recording let's go back to the menu uh, like I said again I'm hitting the most important stuff and interesting stuff at the beginning so let's go on to games there's Tetris you know what Tetris is Boxman uh, Snake I think you gobble up these little uh, squares they're easy to get out of go bang I think this is Minesweepers um, their version of it Reversi I'm not sure how to play that one Jigsaw I think you match up the colors I think uh, let's get out of the games let's hit exit to go to the top menu let's go over to picture uh, auto picture resolution TV format um, when you go to channel search and go to auto search if you do a left or I should say right I hope I'm not getting my left and right uh, mixed up all the time the right arrow key you uh, once you hit that when you're on auto search it will kick out everything every channel you have and start over so just knowing that going in manual search is if you know the you can put in the frequency number I don't know much about that um, just put in uh, what you see here let me hit exit to get out of channel search so the channel search is what you do at the very first when you uh, get this up and running provided you have an antenna then you would go to the next tab time set the time you got a sleep timer uh, that's kinda neat if you leave it on it'll auto, sh auto shut, shut off the next one is options your language uh, digital audio PCM that's probably for your best quality um, parental guidance password uh, let's go to information here it'll show you the model AT-163 software version hardware version right there Hit the exit there's a software update but it has to be like on the hard drive or thumb drive that's where it gets the software update uh, I don't know where you get the updates let's hit the exit uh, up to the top okay we went through the USB PVR configuration is important whenever I use a, a hard drive external hard drive over here I always make sure that when I plug it in I will hit the right arrow key it will discover and figure out what it is um, uh, I like to do that before I do any recording then I always put the time ship shift size up to uh, 4 gig because I think it'll make multiple MTS files of your program uh, usually a program will be over almost 4 gig and it will separate your files uh, but it doesn't go over 4 gigs so 4 gigs the max uh, so you might not get a whole show 
on one file but that's as far as it goes so if you do it any lower than that then it's just gonna you're gonna have multiple files and there is software that you can get to join those MTS files into one file uh, you'll have to look for that I might have something on it on the channel let me get out of this I think that's um, the basics when you let me see you can always hit the timer button here to see what you've got scheduled. Let me exit. Um, you can just type in the channel number 6-1. It'll take you right to the channel or whatever your channel happens to be. You can hit the OK button and then that gives you the, the quick guide of all your channels. Uh, and then you just hit OK, and then that would take you to that channel. Let's go into, I don't know if I hit on this already, the program edit. You would put in your password. It's 0000. zero, 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 zero. So now you're ready to go to each one of these channels, and you can see I've renamed that one and I've skipped this channel and down at the bottom number one move number two skip number three lock four delete the fave button and then the recall is the rename so I've hit I'm gonna unskip number 20 so that would be number two so I'll just hit the number two and it gets rid of the skip Let's go, I renamed this the 12-1 NA. I'm going to hit the recall button right here. And I can put in uh, anything I want right here. Uh, I'll just put uh, XXX. Okay, okay. You rename it whatever you want. All right, when I'm done with that, I just hit exit, and it saves. There you go. Uh, make sure, you, have, of course, you uh, have an antenna. You're, you know, you won't be able to do this without a good antenna. Uh, after this video, at the very tail end, I will, or either before or after, I'll show you the antenna I use. It's a 360-degree antenna. Okay, I think I've gone through pretty much all the controls. Uh, you can play this like a DVD, like your MTS files, that whatever you save, you can play it like a DVD. Play, pause, stop, fast forward, um, aspect ratio, closed captioning, uh, HDMI. And I've tried the, U the USB, the thumb drive, and it seems to, this one doesn't write as fast, so it's a little slow when I'm recording the, uh, uh, recording the shows. So unless you have a USB thumb drive that, that really records really fast, I recommend a hard drive. Really fast one. Just so there's no latency or drag in the video quality. Because I think it will... I think it records at 60 frames a second or 30, but it, there's there's about over 4 gig of just one show uh, per show, uh, and it was on an HD channel. Uh, it might be smaller if you were on just a regular program, like an old TV program that doesn't have the HD quality in it. So I'm trying to think if I've forgotten anything. Recall, you can recall your last channel you were on. Um, yeah, I could I could hit the record button right here, and it would start recording whatever was on TV, uh, and it would keep going until I hit stop. So you can record on the fly. You don't have to actually... Um, yeah, you don't actually have to uh, have have a schedule a recording. You can just do it on the fly. 
Okay. Well, if I have anything else, I'll just have to amend this video because it's getting pretty long already. Let's go one through one through it again. Uh, see if I missed anything. Uh, I don't think I did. Um, went through the USB. Uh, let me leave it there, and if I have any more, I will. Uh, well, uh, let me see. Uh, maybe at this part, I'll add the uh, picture of the video of my uh, WineGuard Metro 360 antenna. It. Uh, I don't have to worry it, it, it what direction my antenna is at because it it picks up 360 degree 360 degrees. So I prefer that. And if you try, I've tried a Philips, avoid the Philips antenna at all costs. It's a piece of crap. Uh, I did get a GE uh, little headset uh, top, uh, old style looking thing. And it did okay, but you had to turn the antenna like, you know, 20 degrees just to pick up programs. So I suggest the three, if you can get a 360 antenna, I would highly recommend you do it because you get everything north, south, east, and west, whatever you can pick up. I better leave it there. It's getting pretty long on the video. I think I showed you everything. So uh, I hope this has been helpful to you. Uh, I wish I had one of these videos when I was looking at these, but I did my research and this was a real nice one. And I've had it for about a year and it's worked great. So uh, I think I'll leave it there and uh, have, a, have a good day. Catch you later on this channel. Keep, keep coming to this channel because I always have some really interesting things I'm always working on.